Hello and welcome in this lesson. In this lesson, we will learn location identifiers. In LTE network, every E node B is divided into several cells. Every group of cells are grouped into an area called tracking area, TA. Therefore, we can say that that the mobile network is divided into several tracking areas. And every tracking area contains several cells. Every element of those elements is having its own identifier. The mobile network is identified by an identifier called PLMN ID. PLMN refers to public LAN mobile network. The PLMN ID consists of two parts. The MCC and the MNC. MCC refers to mobile country code and it is a unique ID for every country. And MNC refers to mobile network code which is a unique ID for every network inside the country. Tracking areas are identified by tracking area code, TAC. TAC identifies every tracking area inside the network. To identify the tracking area globally, we use the tracking area identity, TAI. The tracking area identity, TAI, consists of mobile country code, MCC, and mobile network code, MNC, in addition to tracking area code, TAC. Every E node B is identified by a unique ID, which is the E node B ID. Every cell is identified inside the PLMN by a cell identifier, ECI, which refers to EUT RAN cell identifier. And to identify the cell globally, we use ECGI, EUT RAN cell global identifier. The ECGI consists of the MCC and the MNC, in addition to the ECI. In summary, mobile LTE network contains several tracking areas. And every tracking area contains several cells. And the mobile network is identified by the PLMN ID, which consists of the MCC and the MNC. And the tracking area is identified locally by tracking area code, TAC, and identified globally by tracking area identity, TAI. And every cell is identified locally by EUT RAN cell identifier, ECI, and globally by EUT Rancel Global Identifier, ECGI. I hope this was informative for you. Thank you, and see you in the next lesson.